Hi everyone, welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf. And today I wanna to talk about how to get the ball in the air. Many, many people, especially beginners, have trouble with, with figuring out, especially the concept of how do we get the, the ball in the air. So the very first thing that I wanna do is, is make sure that we know what makes the ball go up in the air. Well, there's loft and there's grooves on this club. There's dimples in this golf ball. Okay, so the, the ball gets in the air, not by us getting underneath it, okay? So I can't really get underneath this ground. If it's on a tee, yes, I can get underneath it. A driver is the exception or a putt. I wanna hit up into those, but everything else I wanna hit down into so I can create some spin in this golf ball, okay? So the face of this golf club is what's gonna get the ball in the air, and me running the face into the ball at a, at a little bit of a downward angle is what's gonna make the ball go in the air. So those are, those are things that we have to keep in mind when we're going through this lesson, is the club has to be going down and the face of this club has to get on this golf ball, okay? The more we try to help it, and I see it every day, the more we try to help it, the more aggravating it is. Now we may, we may catch it once in a while, um, but it's, it's certainly not gonna be anything that's consistent unless it's on a tee. But I would, I would have you start on a tee. So let's, let's think of the first case scenario. Let's make sure that the club is going down. So where does my weight have to be? If my weight is on my back foot, the club is gonna be thrown up too much, okay? So my weight has to be forward. So a great way to start is left foot, right toe. Okay, so all my weight is over on my left side. It does a number of things, but for us, what we're trying to do is make sure the club's going down. So left foot, right toe, all my, all my pressure's on my front foot. So let's just hit a couple, make a, make a couple practice swings. So now when I swing back, I can feel the club is going down. Now when the club is going down, it's, I, I don't necessarily have to throw it into the ground. I don't have to go, I don't have to get here and push the club into the ground because this club has weight, okay? If I just drop the club, it wants to go down to the ground. I've gotta be soft enough in my arms to swing, so when I get my grip on there and go left foot, right toe, and I lever the face back, and I just, I'm soft enough in my arms so the weight of the club can get down into the ground. So you can see how consistent that was. I wouldn't be that consistent if I was constantly pushing on the golf club. So again, I'm just gonna let gravity run into the ball. So I've got a tee here. So just so that you can see, when we, when we get to certain clubs, this is a sand wedge, you're 56 degrees, so it's gonna be one of the highest lofted clubs in our bag. If I put this stick on the face, you can see that the club wants to go, the angle of this club in the face is pretty severe up. As to if, if I were to have a seven iron here, or eight iron, and put it on the face, it's a little lower. So the sand wedge was up here, eight iron's a little bit more down here. So that's kind of telling us where the, where the launch angle, a standard launch angle for that club would be. So back to making contact. The second thing that we, we have to make sure that we do is the face of the club has to run into the ball. So th this club has grooves in it, all right? So if you're hitting up, and you're not getting the ball in the air, usually you're trying to help the ball up and you're hitting this leading edge or the bottom of the club and it's gonna to put top spin on it, it's never gonna go up in the air. Not only do we hit down into it, but we wanna aim for the center of the face. So probably four or five grooves up. So a lot of times what you wanna do is, is, is feel, and I, and I can even, and I've seen this done before, is put a dot with a marker right in the middle of the face and you're trying to get it right on the back of the ball. So if I go left foot, right toe, get my grip on here right, swing back and just let the face run into the ball. Okay, you can see there was no help. I wasn't trying to help it up at all. I just let the face run into the ball. Do that one more time. Left foot, right toe, get my grip back, let the face run into the ball. So the ball went up. Now, what will make, the, what will make the, the ball go even a little higher in the air? 
Well, we could certainly open the face, so the, so the face angle is going to launch the ball even, even more up, or as I add speed to the club, that will make the ball spin a little bit more and go up in the air a little bit more. So now, if I take a longer club, but I would start with something with a lot of loft, left foot, right toe, and just run the face into the golf ball. We're still going to go off a tee here. So now, I've got an eight iron and I've got it, I've got it teed up. We're going to do the same thing. So you can see that the ball will go in the air even though the loft has changed. Even though you look down at this, you look down at this club, there's not so quite as much loft and you're, you're almost wondering how is this going to get up in the air. Well, there's going to be a little more speed to it. It's not going to launch as high, but we'll go left foot, right toe. Again, take it back just about halfway and run the face right into the ball. And the ball goes up in the air. Now we got to get it on the ground. So again, we're going to do the same thing, but with, with no T. So we we're going to take our crutch away, left foot, right toe, make some practice swings, back, run the face into the ball. Again, we're not trying to help it because our shoulders would tilt way too much and you'd hit it thin. Left foot, right toe, you're trying to feel, even trying to feel this arm, so left foot, right toe, runs the face into the ball because this is really, this hand is really mimics the face of the club. So whatever this hand does, that face is going to do. So I'm trying to feel like I run the, run my hand right into the back of the ball. So again, left foot, right toe. So I get, I get a sense and I get a feeling of how I keep having weight in my foot when I help this ball up or when I get up into the ball and not help it up. So again, the ball went in the air again. So obviously you're not going to play like that. So now we're going we're gonna to make some swings where you start to feel, you kind of let the club pull you back and forth at first. And then you start to feel how your feet start to work just in front of the club. So if I were to start the club out here, my foot goes in the ground, foot goes in the ground, foot goes in the ground, foot goes in the ground. So I can, I can feel that there's a little more pressure in my left foot when I hit it than in my right. And again, I'm still just running the face into the ball. Now, if you have a, if you have a problem and you're, and you're really trying to get the ball up, it usually looks like this. We swing back, we're more left and then right and trying to help the ball up. So all that's going to do is tilt my shoulders and make the club go up. I'll show you here. So if I get here, and so typically what people do is they go left so, and they go right and they're trying to help the ball up. So we want to go just the opposite of that. So you'd almost want to feel, and you can almost, you can almost, almost start with your with your right side going first and then your left. Right, left, right, left. And I've seen this done before where you just feel like your, your arms are out in front and you go right, left, right, left, right, left. So I start to feel, I'm starting to use the ground and I'm, it's starting to make my arms react. Right, left. So now my, now my arms are starting to go down to the ground. So we make some practice swings. Again, we're just trying to put this face into the ball. Not a lot of speed. We're going to go right, left, right, left. Okay, now we'll go ahead and hit one. Get ready to go. Right, left. So you can see there was weight on my side, on my front side, and then I just run, ran the face right into the golf ball. So there was no trying to help it. If anything, I'm trying to make the club go down into the ball. So do that again. You know, again, you're starting to feel right, left, right, left, and get a rhythm of what your feet are doing. Right, left. So they're just in front of the club. And it doesn't matter, even if, you're, even if you're, your right goes back a little sooner than the club, that's okay too. Again, get ready to go, and then you feel right, left. So it starts to have a little bit more freedom to your arms. And when you think about that, again, what we want to have happen when you hit it is weight on your left side, 
running the, running the face right into the ball. Weight in my left side, running the face right into the ball. So as soon as you stop trying to help the ball up in the air, understand what gets the ball in the air, the face, the angle of attack, and some speed, and where your weight shift should be, or sorry, where the forces in your, in your, in your feet should be, you're going to get a much better idea and a much better uh, flow of even the swing, transition, how your arms work. Um, but basically, just trying to get weight left, face of the club, into the golf ball, that's what's going to make it go up in the air, not you trying to help it unless it's on a tee. Again, that's only off the tee. This, this game is played from, from the ground, and you can't get underneath it. I can't get... If I got here, I can't get underneath this golf ball. If I did, I would just take all, all earth anyways, and I'm not gonna get the face on the golf ball. So I hope this helps you if you're struggling with getting the ball up in the air, the concept. You have to change the picture in your mind to understand it. I know this is gonna help you out. Start on a tee and then put it on the ground, uh, starting to feel the face, starting to feel where your weight shift is. The game will, will turn around quickly if you do this when we get you out on the golf course and having some fun. Like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf. Want to take a live lesson from me or you have a question? Visit me at BillyFitzgeraldGolf.com. And thanks for watching.